Okay, so I've got this exciting new project. I haven't done one of these for a while, but this is a children's book. And it's about a little boy named Luca that saves a uh, hawksbill turtle. And uh, so I think this book's gonna have a lot of appeal because there's turtles are adorable and this little kid will be adorable. So my job is to come up with 20 illustrations. So I will do the cover and the interior illustrations and uh, it's uh, the format will be, there, there's not a lot of uh, type. So the pictures kind of tell the story as much as, as the copy does. And I'm working with a, uh, a lady I've known for years. She didn't know I painted, and her uh, Tammy Fitzgerald. And this is dear to her heart, and she was looking for an illustrator and put something online, and a bunch of people suggested me, and she knew me, she just didn't know I painted. So I, I, get the, I got the gig, and uh, this will be done sometime this year. It's gonna be out, I think, distributed to, I believe, 300,000 uh, stores around the country and uh, so it'll be well distributed but I'm uh, I've just uh, I've done one and to get started and I wanted to do one that kind of uh, uh, shows off the turtle he's the main character the book is called uh, Saving Truman so this Hawksbill turtle is named Truman and the trick with this is this is for kids if I would were doing this for adults I would have treated this a little differently but I want the turtle to have a little bit of human emotion because at some point he gets damaged by a boat and the little boy saves him. Well, instead of just always looking like I said, I want emotion on the turtle, human emotion. So he's gonna show pain, he's gonna show happiness. And ultimately there's a happy ending and he'll be all smiles. So the beauty of uh, working on a, a book like this is I learn a lot because I have to research this stuff so that I know I'm painting the details on a hawksbill turtle correctly. And they're actually really elaborate, beautiful animals with this elaborate pattern. And um, I have to not only research the turtle to make sure they're correct, but his surroundings. I, I want to make sure I've got the correct kind of fish and coral and whatever in the background. And um, so the author has seen this and loved it, <clears throat> but wanted one change, so I am about to paint the silhouette of a second turtle back here. So if you'd like to watch me paint that, and uh, it's called value delineation. There's different ways to show distance in art, and there's things like over overlapping planes, vanishing points, and in this case, this is called value delineation. So this same turtle, Truman, if I put him back in the distance behind a bunch of water, he's not gonna be this colorful. So this one I'm about to add, the second turtle, I'm just gonna silhouette him in, and that's all that's needed. We'll know it's a turtle, and he really doesn't need to be terribly complicated. So I'm just gonna fill him in. Head. And as I've worked on this book, I've just really fallen in love with uh, sea turtles. There's a bunch of different varieties. And I think, I believe a uh, hawksbill is one of the rare ones. And, uh, but fat, like any of God's creatures, they're all fascinating. Uh, the more you know about them, you realize you could spend your life studying that particular animal and really never run out of new things to learn. And uh, these are truly graceful, beautiful creatures. And uh, fortunately, there's some really awesome uh, places out there that um, when a sea turtle is, is injured, they bring them back to health. So. See, I'm going to keep that simple. I'll let the paint dry and I'll add a little more, but that gives him company. Everybody knows it's a sea troll, but we don't really need a ton of detail in them. So that's how that remained. You don't want to over clutter a painting. There's so much going on in here. And then you got the jellyfish up here, the sea turtle's favorite food. And so that was the last element we needed.
We've established uh, what Truman looks like, uh, actually the main character of the book, and the author is good with that. We've added the uh, second turtle back in the background. So now I'm trying to establish the boy, the human, and his name is Luca, and I got started on him and I didn't like the eyeballs. So the beauty of painting, I took them out, I'm gonna repaint the eyeballs at some point. And um, when you do a book, the author sends reference. So I, I know what the book's gonna say. And then I've got the author's uh, vision of what this little boy would look like. And so she sends me references. And on top of what she sends me, you know, the kid uses a uh, body board. So she sent me, uh, reference what a bodyboard looks like. And then I dig up my own too and I I have to know, I have to look at things so I know what these turtles look like, what the palm trees look like and all of that. So I rely heavily on photo reference and fortunately with the internet I can find pictures of things. I never paint exactly what I'm looking at. I use them for reference so I know, oh the fins, the front fins are this long, the back ones are shorter, this is what the bill looks like, and then reference on the coral. And I specifically want to make sure that in the habitat where a Hemingway, or Hemingway, a hawksbill turtle <laughs> lives, I want to make sure I've got the correct kind of fish and things. So it's for uh, children 8 to 12, but I want some accuracy there too. So we kind of break a few rules. This isn't strictly, this isn't like a National Geographic illustration. It's geared for kids, so there's some character to it, but it's also fairly accurate. Those are clownfish, and um, that's, that's a uh, hawksbill turtle. And I know this is the right type of coral for their habitat. So, so I will be working on him next, and um, He's uh, 8 to 12 years old, so the goal in the end is that he's this very likable, identifiable kid, Luca, and he's, uh, he's all about uh, bodyboarding. And now I know what a bodyboard is. I had no idea. <laughs>